If there is one man out there that the news keeps coming about, it's the owner of the Philadelphia Eagles, Jeffrey Lurie. The owner of the Philadelphia Eagles, okay? This guy is trying to... This guy represents a product, okay? This guy, that this, the Philadelphia Eagles, that logo is his baby, okay? And he has to make sure that everything is going full throttle with this whole entire team, whether it's roster changes or anything like that and how we're playing this year. Jeffrey Lurie has been speaking out a little bit more. The only thing Doug hasn't really lost is his locker room, but I see that this locker room is starting to crumble just a little bit. It's starting to crack just a little bit, but it's not going through yet. Okay, Miles Sanders that had his press conference was talking about, oh, I wouldn't mind Deuce Daly as a coach or, you know, not really saying they want Doug Peterson fired, but there is some stuff going on in the background that we don't know about. There's some rumors going around that some of these players could want Doug Peterson fired. Jeffrey Lurie already said, what, a few days ago, okay, a few days ago that, you know, if the Eagles don't make the playoffs, um, changes are going to be made. Okay, so not even just this news of just him speaking out again was a major factor, but this guy didn't even take a plane to the Browns game. This guy didn't even bother. What was the point of that? He's frustrated with this Eagles team. He thought this Eagles team was going to be a contender this year, and he didn't even bother. He didn't even bother to take a plane to Cleveland with the team. Didn't even bother to do that. And you know what? When an when a owner doesn't do that, it shows a lot what he thinks about this team. Just by the owner not being at a game just shows. I mean, the guy owns the team. He owns the team, and he doesn't go to a game. Not because he's sick or corona or something. He literally just didn't go and just frustrated with his team. I'm not going to be – I'll be honest with you guys. Like, you know, before the season started, I said, hey, a 10-12 to 12 win team. I said at least a 10-12 to 12 win team. And, oh, my God, were we wrong? Were we totally wrong on, on every level of that, okay? But not only that, not only that, and then come to here and find out that Jeffrey Lurie is disgusted with this team. He's not even, he's not even showing up to these practices. He's, he's leaving early for practice. He's not even staying for a whole practice. He literally goes there to show some little bit of support, but he leaves. He's just done. He's done with this team. He's done with what's going on with Doug. Shame on you, Doug. Shame on you, Howie. Shame on you. You know what? There's only so much an owner could do, okay? Well, there's only so much an owner could do. The owner just had enough, and you know what? I was waiting for this to happen, you know, and since this really shows up, the only thing that Doug hasn't lost, like I said before, is the locker room. It's starting to crack a little bit, and hearing some rumors about some players that are not minding Doug Peterson getting fired, because you know what? There's so much talk, but no action with Carson Wentz, with Doug Peterson, with Howie Roseman, too. After, after you know, uh, after the playoff loss last year, he promised us that, you know, we're, we're coming to win in January we're here to play football in January I mean you got to be kidding me I mean no trades the draft picks have been totally missed and then finding out this past draft the the Eagles scouts were actually telling Howie go draft Jeremy Chin in the second round of the draft and Howie pretty much put his hand up and said nope not doing it and then they drafted Jalen Hurts so there is a power thing going on here okay and I think if this team loses on national television this Monday night against the Seahawks, I honestly think, I honestly think Jeffrey Lurie will do something. Because honestly, it's better to get started early because just think about it, guys. You lose this game this Monday night. The Reds, the whole, the Washington football team already won against the Cowboys. They're in first place in front of us. If the Giants win against the Bengals, if the Eagles lose against the Seahawks on Monday night, the Eagles jump to third place. It's a huge chance. So what, so remember Doug, Doug has been using the, we're first in the NFC East. We're first, not anymore. We're not, we're one game behind now. And probably after the Sunday, we'll be another game behind. Okay, so now we're starting to fall, which I told you guys it was going to happen. I don't have us winning the rest of the schedule the rest of the year. I don't have us winning that at all. It's been embarrassing. It's just been totally embarrassing. And I'm done. The more, the earlier we get this done, the better it's going to be. Okay, the earlier we fire Doug. Because at this point, I don't even know if Jeffrey Lurie wants Doug around, period. Because I'm telling you right now, Doug Pearson is not going to get a head coaching job anywhere else. Okay. If it was my, if it was me, 
I would just get rid of him because at this point, I don't like how he's been. I don't like how Doug has been the past few weeks. I mean, he's gotten worse. He's looked more dumb the past few weeks. He's been weird and more weird with his press conferences, just what he's saying. He's he's getting aggravated at the press for telling you that your team isn't playing good. I mean, are they wrong? So if it was up to me, the faster you fire Doug Peterson, the better it's going to be. The earlier you could start searching. Obviously, a lot of guys are going to get let go of other teams, other you know candidates for head coaching jobs. But this team needs an OC separate from a head coach or a head coach that or an OC that wants to become a head coach. That's a likable guy that could call plays, knows how to scheme uh, against the defense and knows how to use these players to their strengths. That would be the strongest thing to really go for. But an owner not being at a full practice, the owner not coming to a game, the owner not coming to a game for his own team that has paid billions of dollars, a game that he's not even going to, shows so much. And I'm so happy because sometimes sometimes changes don't happen. Sometimes owners, I, you know, we thought that Jeffrey Lurie was being too friendly or, you know, maybe he just wanted to see if Doug would sink or swim. We, was, we just wanted to see. And Howie Roseman hasn't been helping that because I don't want all the blame to go on Carson. I don't want all the blame to go on Doug Peterson. I want some of that blame to go on Howie Roseman from these draft picks, missing on trades, Mr. You know, Mr. Make Moves, over $60 million in cap space right now. It, it, someone needs to come in and fix this because Howie is not going to fix this. He's going to restructure, restructure, restructure. I mean, he's just moving money around, but we're still in debt. So at, regardless, if you move money around, free up some cap space, you're still going to be in debt regardless. Now, Howie's good with the numbers, but I'm sorry. I've had enough. The Howie magic is gone. Okay, Howie hasn't done any great trades. Howie hasn't even tried. He's afraid he'll only give up fourth to seventh round picks. I swear to God, he will not give up a first or second or third in a trade ever. I'm not saying I want that to happen, but I'm just saying you never see him. You see him give away fourth to seventh round picks all the time. I'm glad Jeffrey Lurie has said something. I'm glad that he is actually opening his mouth. The rumors are starting to come out now. I'm telling you, this loss against the Seahawks this Monday, and I'm saying it's a loss because we're losing. We're not winning this game. It's not happening. And everyone's saying, oh, well, Joe, it's going to be one of those games where the Eagles are going to play so hard. I'm tell- and I'm saying, no, no, no. It's not going to be one of those years where we're just going to start winning. It's not going to happen because this team, I think these players are resilient, but the situation that they're put in is garbage. Okay? And Doug is putting them in a bad situation. Doug is blaming the players. Doug is barely blaming himself for anything. We're going to run him out of Philadelphia. The faster it starts, the better it's going to be. Okay. Other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. I'm kind of like, I'm very actually happy about this. I'm glad that something is being said about it. And that's pretty much it. I will see you guys later. Chase squad up. Fly, fly. Peace out, guys. Peace.